Hey guys, and welcome to Day Glue today. And today we're going to be talking about a few things, so we're going to get into it. The first thing is that there is a massive unbanned wave when it comes to a lot of accounts. So if you were recently banned on your previous accounts on Fallout 76 and you had the most recent ban wave, you're probably going to get unbanned because of their error. So this is why that people have been banned. It counted every single bullet, okay, like, in the regard of, like, let's say, an Ultra Sight bullet. And they counted that as one piece as a rare item. So, because they don't want to admit that it was their fault, they just continually unbanned everybody that they put in the ban wave in the first place. So, again, and at the same time, if you traded something or you dropped something and then you picked up another thing, it added it as an additive factor. And some people on Xbox even had their accounts, in theory, to be banned as well doing the same kind of process, which, again, it's kind of stupid that they had a process where they set a hard ceiling for this as an additive function rather than a total function on a character's profile. Again, it's really stupid, but I mean, I digress. There's a few other things that has happened in Fallout 76, which I want to actually notify that the community's been doing pretty good with this. One person, uh, he made a video on this where he showed the legendary vendor location for Fallout 76. Not that it was data mined, but he just happened to stumble upon it because there was a little crack inside the actual vendor location themselves so we're going to be seeing some very interesting things especially with nuking this end of the road train station that we can't currently access inside fallout 76 and it could be a high possibility it may not be a thing but at the same time if we're able to get inside there now and we're able to do that now in order to find out this exact location that's actually pretty cool. Again, we can't confirm or deny it, but again, he titled it to be the legendary vendor location. This could be a high probability, or it could even be at the end of a vault, which would you would have to do with a quest line or a dungeon raiding technique that could be coming up inside the vaults in future updates. So that'd be really cool to be at the very end of a vault. Or maybe it's a trading hub at the vault, kind of like on how you have the Grand Exchange with RuneScape. And then you would have to have a vault trading hub. A vault trading hub would actually be really fun to do in that kind of thing. And it would actually bring like a good amount of the economy into the game. But I mean, that's just wishful thinking right there. So also at the same time, there's also more news when it comes to different kind of situations one i wanted to show like this guy's like little camp because it's actually really cool looking it really does look like a drive through kind of like situation when, when it comes to his fort um it really looks cool but then there's also going to be a nuka shine challenge on top of it where it just like the challenge is drink a bunch of nuka shines and see where you end up and take photos about the locations about where your nuka shine is and then you can put it in my discord as well so that's pretty cool um i'm gonna give you an update for the video for my nuka shine i didn't really get to everything yet for hardcore testing between cards and seeing what has affected after the hot fix because i was playing with some friends for a few days we had them on over we did axe throwing it was a lot of fun and it was just like going back and forth. We we really enjoyed our time just between axe throwing, playing um, Beat Saber. Beat Saber is a lot of fun. And then I want to give you one final update when it comes to it. So at the the end of the tail end of this video, because I want to try and like make sure that you guys know about this, especially if you play Apex Legends as well, that there was two cheaters and. Most people have been getting hardware bans when it comes to Apex Legends, and the reason why, it's a free-to-play game, and if you cheat there, you don't really get a second chance when it comes to that, comparably to Fallout 76, where they have given people second chances and refuted themselves, not only because of their lack of judgment and error, 
but also because like at the same time they don't really have the player base that uh, other bigger games will have because of the fallout that people have been receiving again I can't wait until the game comes out to be like 15 20 bucks for Fallout 76 because I, at that point I think that Fallout 76 is that price. It's not going to be free initially, but it might be free down the line if they still want to continue AWS services. But again, with a free game comes free prices in that type of regard. And that's what has happened in Apex Legends. A lot of people just openly like to cheat because they like to cheat in games like that. And I'm not talking about like exploiting or duping or anything like that. What I'm talking about is like full on speed hack, god mode, like ESP, aim lock, like that kind of level. Like when when you're going that type of level, like you, you're probably going to get banned. And then there's also the other thing in Apex Legends where you can turn off the smoke. Which, I mean, it's kind of dumb too. At the same time, you shouldn't really be able to turn off smoke. But it's a console command. And it, if you find people that are doing that as well, I mean, that's also really cheaty as well. So if you guys like this kind of content, please leave a like. Leave a comment down below. And have a good one, guys. Close. Reloading. You hear that? There's a care package coming down. Reloading. Took out the whole squad. Now close. Send me over decoy. Reloading. Me by the rock. He's healing up, I think. Got his health screwing up. Just relax. Sorry. He's cheating, bro. Oh, that's sick. 